usually when I'm studying, this is the common scenario. Usually, there is a book in front of me and my phone near to me. And since I'm studying, I try to focus on my studies, my homework. But there will be a slight itch that would gravitate me towards my phone. And yeah, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be getting it. In fact, I'm using our smartphone so much for the social media and other entertainment have convinced our parents that buying the smartphone for us was a bad decision so let's see instead so in this video i'm going to show you the best apps for your studies so that you can make your device useful Okay, so the first app we have on our list is Khan Academy. Now, Khan Academy has tons of study aids provided for students of going through primary school, secondary school, and senior secondary school. So, if you have any concept that you don't understand, you can check out their videos, which are very ex well explained. And there are many more concepts that you can learn. You can revise the apart and that's why we call this very elastic just like a very elastic rubber band and it's something is so the next app on our list is coursera now if you're in college or in any university and you want to learn a course which is not available to you you can take the help of this app because this app has more than 1000 courses which has been made by some best college some of the best colleges and universities so if you want to learn about photography, music or coding, you can check out Coursera app and take a course. Okay, so one thing about Coursera is that if you want to take any course like I've chosen data science, there's an enrollment fee which you have to pay like it, it states here it is 1800 rupees. So with that you get um, nine courses, one capst a capstone, and a certificate. So, if you want to enroll, you have to pay the fee, and thus you are enrolled. If you are learning any foreign language or want to learn any foreign language, you should check out our next app, which is Duolingo. Duolingo is an app for someone looking to learn to be fluent in foreign languages. It helps you to learn any language by interactive games, videos, and other services. So if you want to learn any language, you should check out Duolingo. The next app on our list is How Stuff Works. Now How Stuff Works is developed by the people who made the How Stuff Works website. And if you're familiar to that, you know that there are various articles and videos that educates and entertains us. So if you have got some curiosity to learn about some facts or some history lessons, you can check out How Stuff Works app. It's beautiful and you get ton of information on it. Now the next app on our list is the one which I personally use. It is called mycbseguide.com app. Now, since I'm giving CBSE boards, I require tons of resources for it. And my CBSE guide provides a lot of resources. We are talking practice papers, revision notes, and last year's papers. So if you're someone who is giving CBSE boards like me, you should definitely check out this app, which is available on Android. They have a mobile website, which you can use with your iOS devices. It is quite functional. And if someone is giving any other boards, you can let me know and I will probably find out and list them down below. So that is cbseguide.com app. So these were the top 5 apps for all the students out there. And if you look at these uh, suggestions, you might see that all of these apps have ton of information for you. 
and you might think that I don't need to go to school, I can study myself and you're right, you can do that and yes, with all the information available at your fingertips, it might make you the most informed person but not the most educated person. Confused? Let me explain. So this is information. Internet has a lot of it. Then there is knowledge. Knowledge is when you are taught and you are learn about an idea or something which helps you to understand a particular subject. With, after, with the help of knowledge, only we can access the information we need. Without knowledge, looking at information will be finding a pin in a haystack. And after searching for adequate information, we work on that idea, we research, we create and we apply it to our surroundings. And that is education. Hope you guys found this video very helpful. Now I will list all the apps and plenty more resources on our blog which is neolithics.blogspot.in. Again that is neolithics.blogspot.in. The link will be down below. Thank you guys for watching.